Hi, it's Steve. Today we'd like to show you how to change the oven temp sensor on your range. It's a really easy repair. Let me show you how we do it. Now before we begin this repair, the first thing we'll need to do is to turn off power to the range. So we either pull it far enough forward that you can unplug it, or locate the electrical panel, turn off the appropriate breaker, or remove the appropriate fuses, and then we can start the repair. Now that we've disconnected the power, our next step will be to remove the oven door. That gives us easier access to work inside of the oven. So simply open it completely. We'll remove the two oven racks to get those out of the way. And just set those aside. Now to remove that door, we need to engage these two stops, one on either hinge. So using a small flat blade screwdriver, I'm just going to pry those out of the opening and then push them flat down onto the hinge as far as they will go. Do the same for both sides. Once those are in position, we'll simply close that door up until it meets those stops. Then grasping both sides of the door, tilt it to a closing type position and then lift it away. And we can just set that aside for now. Now with the oven door removed, we now have better access to that part. You can try removing that single screw right in between the terminals of the broil element. If it doesn't loosen, we'll need to remove the broil element and pull the whole assembly out. To do so, there are two retaining screws at the back and two more across the bracket at the front here. So we'll remove all four of those screws. You can just let that broil element and temp sensor assembly hang there. And then we'll go to the back of the range to detach the wire terminals. Now that we're at the back of the range, we'll need to remove some screws to remove that rear panel. We'll start on the bottom. Typically three screws across the bottom. And then you'll find one on each side that will need to be removed as well. And depending on your model, you may find one more along either the bottom edge or the bottom along the side. And there are two hooks up at the top that will secure that panel with the screws removed. So we simply need to lift up slightly on it. and disengage those hooks. One on either side. They fit into these two slots. So we'll just set that aside. Now we have access to the wires that attach to the broil element and the harness connector for the temp sensor. So release the locking tab for that harness connector and separate it. You may need somebody to support that element as you remove the two wire terminals. You just pull those off. If you find they're on there quite tight, you may need to use a pair of needle nose pliers. Remember to pull just on the terminal. And then we'll go back to the oven and we'll pull that whole assembly out through the back wall. And then we can change out the temp sensor. And then we'll just pull that whole assembly out through. And now if need be, we can get a better grip on that screw that secures that temp sensor to that element. Now we've determined that that screw is seized in there pretty tight, so we're gonna take a pair of locking pliers and we'll go fairly close to the end of the threads on the back side of that screw. 
so we don't damage them too much and then try to loosen it that way. Now if you've damaged the head of that screw you will need to replace it. So next we'll just pull that old temp sensor out through that opening and discard it. Slide the new one through that opening. Line up the screw hole on the top. And then we'll reinstall that retained screw. And now we're ready to put that assembly back into the oven. So we're gonna carefully push that harness through the insulation. And then the terminals for the oil on itself. And then we'll install our retaining screws. And then the screws for the support bracket on the front. And tighten those two front ones securely. And then we'll go to the back of the range again. Now with the parole element firmly mounted onto the ceiling of the oven, we're ready to reconnect that temp sensor harness. So line it up. Make sure that we insert that far enough that the locking tab engages. And then we'll tuck that down into that channel. Next, we'll reconnect the wires to the broil element. Make sure they go on nice and snug. And if they're a little bit loose, use your needle nose pliers and crimp them slightly. It's important that we have a good tight connection. And now we're ready to put the back panel on. Now when reinstalling that back panel, we want to make sure that we line up those hooks with the slotted openings up close to the top. hooks engaged, you can just let that panel hang there, and then we'll reinstall the mounting screws. Depending on your model, there will need to be five or six screws that we need to attach. And now we're ready to push the range back into place. So we'll begin by putting both racks back in. And then we're ready to put the door on. Now when inserting the door, make sure that we get it all the way into those openings. Tilt it up so there's a four or five inches of opening at the top to make sure that we've got it pushed firmly into place, then lower it, and you should be able to lower it to a flat position. If you can, then we simply need to push those stops back up into the openings in the oven liner, close up the door, make sure it closes all the way, and then finish pushing the range into place. We're now ready to push the range back into place, reconnect the power, and your repair is complete.